My Laura soil moisture has gained a lot of interest. By today, I have get more than 10 customers requests, how to connect my Laura moisture sensor to TNS or helium. Err, this a little difficult, that there may be still some misunderstanding between Laura and LoRaWAN. Mostly, LoRa stands physical layer in OSI, that sender and receiver needed, suitable for local point-to-point -point applications, while LoRaWAN act like the network layer, used in network that need to access to internet. It needs the LoRaWAN devices and a core LoRaWAN router, that make the LoRaWAN devices can access to internet. Compares to Wi-Fi, LoRaWAN is much lower speed, while lower power consumption, and much larger range. MakerFab's LoRa Soil Moisture Sensor is based on ATmega 328P plus LoRa RFM95 module, it mainly for farm applications, to collect the soil data to core monitor, without any internet connection. The good news is that there some users has been succeed to run LoRaWAN protocol in the controller ATmega 328P, to make it possible to upload the data to internet. But it is difficult, especially for new learners, and as we tested, not stable enough. So we made this LoRaWAN Soil Moisture, which is based on Raspberry Pi RP2040, an AI Think LoRaWAN module RA08H. The main reason for RP2040 is it is hot nowadays, and more important, low prices, especially in the current IC shortage. This module tests the soil moisture by capacitive, the basic principle is that the RP2040 generates PWM waves after the waves go through the filter, that the capacitance is sensitive to the environment soil moisture, the wave is converted to voltage, and the RP2040 ADC gets the result, thus to monitor the moisture. It can also test the air temperature and humidity with an AHT10 sensor. The module is powered by three AAA batteries. With a LoRaWAN router Dragino LIG16 installed, I succeed to upload the data to the TNS, a platform for LoRaWAN data, and also transmitting the data to ThingSpeak for visual checking. But the main problem I encountered was power consumption. As a LoRaWAN module, low power consumption should be its main advantage, this total current should be as low as possible. In the LoRa version, we made the 80 Mega 328p sleep current less than 2 UA, which makes the whole system take less than 7 UA in sleep mode, to ensure the module can be used for more than a year for two AAA batteries. I found there some demos in GitHub, that have succeeded to set the RP2040 into sleep and dormant mode, with MicroPython, but this is not good enough. As there was not much support with Arduino, or MicroPython, I had to switch to RP2040 CSDK and tested by myself, and proved that it's true, the dormant current is more than one ma, which makes its working time less than a week with three AAA batteries. This is not good. So I doubt I may be on the wrong way, that a Pi RP2040 is not suitable for lower power applications for LoRaWAN. I am considering switching back to ATmega 328p, that have a sleep current of less than 2 UA, 0.2% of that RP2040. We are in developing this new version and it should be available in one or two months. If you are interested in the LoRaWAN Soil Moisture Sensor, please keep tuned.